What's up, guys? I'm Chris looking right now. I'm about to tell you, I'm gonna be the bearer of bad news here. When you bust, it takes about seven days for a lot of people to get it back. And do you know what replaces itself till it comes back, people? Female energy. Brace yourself, people, because I'm about to bust open your cherry with this whole theory, okay? So, <clears throat> look. Men and women, because women, it's your fault. But men, when you relieve yourself, okay? This is what you're doing to yourself. First of all, you're making yourself go through more physical lessons because you are not spiritually powered to be able to figure it out in your head because you giving it all away to your chick. It's in her. She now has it. We wonder why females are acting more masculine. We've been giving them our male sexual energy. Our Do you know that is our male energy? Now, okay, we're balanced, right? Or more on the male side. You have feminine, right? But then you have masculine. Your semen is your masculinity. And when you relieve yourself, you are giving away your masculinity, which for a lot of people takes seven days to replenish that. Do you know what that does? When it reverses, I'm telling you, when that semen reverses and he loses that semen, I'm telling you, the semen represents male energy. So if he releases his male energy, what's his other counterpart? Female energy, it has to replace itself on an emergency level, which means that he operates on the feminine aspect for up to seven days until that replaces. And that's if he can only last for seven days. If he's losing that energy every single day, wonder why the testosterone rate has dropped in men over the last 30, 40 years? constantly reversing and releasing and not allowing yourself to replenish yourself. That's why I said twice a month on an emergent. This is so you can be on some type of optimum level. And then the more you lose, the more physicality lessons you got to go through. Versus spiritual ones. Constant relieving yourself. Makes you endure more lessons or lessons in general. Instead of it just coming to you and you're just dealing with it with your magic. You're having to go through physicality now. That is why before you start relieving yourself. Remember before you started releasing yourself. You didn't go through that many physical lessons. But now you find yourself going through more frequent physical ones than you did before. It's all because that one thing, that one mediator is releasing. You remember before you start releasing. I don't know if you can, but if you remember before you enter probably middle school, right? You would not find yourself going through many physical lessons. You felt like life was much more of an ease. I know I did, but now you're finding yourself having to go through more physical ones versus spiritual ones. But if you will find yourself retaining, I'm telling you, which are, you will be retaining your male energy or would stay within that balance. So when, it, when it reverses, guess what happens? When that semen reverses, he loses that semen, which, by the way, uh, in my opinion, all sexual acts are some form of sex magic in, in some form or fashion. But right. when the man has an ejaculation, he actually loses his semen represents male energy. When he loses that male energy, it has to be replaced on an emergency level, and the only thing that replaces it until it 
So the male energy refills itself is female energy. Okay? So at the moment of ejaculation, until you replenish, for some people it's up to seven days, you're functioning more, you're functioning with more female energy rather than male energy. And then the more male energy you lose, the more physical reality lessens you got to go through. But if you retain your spiritual energy, which is your male energy, by keeping a good balance, you experience your lessons spiritually. You won't have to physically do that shit. But you have to be either in balance or more on the male energy side. So when you're balanced, you don't have to, if, if, unless you have the choice. When you're balanced, you have the choice. Do I want to experience this lesson physically? Do I want to go through this shit? Or do I want to figure it out in my head and go through it spiritually and deal with it on a, with, my, with my magic or whatever? You see? So if you, but if you lose the male energy, you've got to deal with it on a physical level. That's how the lessons work. You would find yourself not experiencing that many physical ones or not any at all and more spiritual ones.